You must be walking in peace with a Bible. You ever see somebody walking in a Bible no. or that's the preacher? preacher? No. You don't know the pastors because pastors, their Bible is funny. The pastors are dead and the evangelists and the speakers, their Bible is money. But God said to you, pastors and speakers and, and, and look at all the world out there, Buddhist churches are there. No, are to you. A pastor's Bible is like his credit card. No, are to you that leads the ship of shape. God is going to hold the pastors. Where the sheep's clothing is. Everybody wants to be comfortable in their sin. But God said, I come to put a mother against a son. And a husband against a wife. We have come to have you comfortable. Because if God wanted you to be comfortable, you would have forget the kingdom is to be built. God needs men, work men and work women for the kingdom. So your wife, as a, a servant of God, cannot be comfortable. You must walk the pilgrim journey. And the pilgrim journey is not a beautiful journey because Jesus Christ walked the pilgrim journey. He suffered. Jesus Christ suffered. He got saved. He got persecuted. There are times you don't have to run from one place to the next. And you're sleeping out there, enjoying yourself, living in your sin. You go to church, but then in the afternoon, you go in some group. You are a man, but you go with another man. You are a woman, you go with another woman. And you're in church 10 years. Do you think God is sleeping? Jesus spoke. He said, Blood. Always. Yes, he does. This is why you're still alive. Right? And he's going to say, He's in every one of us lives right now. God bless Amen. you. God is asking you to come out of them. He's telling you, He said to come out. Come out of your sinful life. Come out of your hatred. Come out of your mother in spirit. God is telling you to come out. Because I'm telling you, no matter how young you is, the Bible says that the young girl is falling from the tree and the old girl is still on the tree. There is something about being young in this time and you're not on the Lord's side. If you know that the Lord said, the devil always planning something for you. The young people, the best way that you can lead to his own age in this time is to be on the Lord's side. You send your elders. Some of you young men out there send drugs to the elders. Some of you all know your mama and daddy spoke, but you all tell your mother and father drunk. And the Bible said, honor. The Bible said, honor your mother and your father, for the day shall be long in the land that the Lord has given you. He never told you to be the drunk. To be smart to the brain. You see an elderly person, give him a hand, you are a young person. But instead of you do that, you spend money. You find it, the simplest opportunity so that you can get money from somebody, an elder person. 
you will call my end and personal house and you know the person knows that the social and you will kill that elder and take that money. Money you lost, money you save, and money you save in your grave. Money you lost and money you save, money you save in your grave. God is calling to come and reconcile yourself to Him. God is telling you, even though your sin is as red as colored blood, He said, turn away, turn your back from your sin and come. And I repented, knees your hand are standing up. Come with repentance in your heart and God promises He will wash you and clean you and send you back out straight. But then you don't want to leave the things of the world. If I go to God, I will not get to go to party. If I go to God, I will not live my homosexual life. If I go to God, I cannot live my lesbian life. If I go to God, I cannot stop selling drugs. If I go to God, I cannot stop a blood in the body. Yes, you got to stop. God doesn't want your sin. He wants your repentance. But he said, when I forgive you of your sin, and you go back into your sin, you like a dog. Vomit and eat him back his vomit. What a mighty God we serve. A God that instead of the storm goes to Florida. Come to DC, the God of Florida. That's an act of God with God. And I'm sure that many of you are that in the city of Israel, the Florida. If your God asks you to pray for your brothers and sisters so that they will be not fall inside but face it. You see, God specifically said there is no important Lord. Very important Lord God said, Have no other God but me and love your neighbors as yourself. The God who is my neighbor. Your neighbor is everyone that passed in front of you right now. Every one of you is my neighbor. That's why I love you and I tell you that you must repent and come out of sin. Because I love you, I tell you, you must come out of the homosexual. You must come out of the homosexual life you live in. You must come out of the lesbian life. You must come out of the murder life. Because I love you. Love check time. When you love somebody, you chastise You tell them what they're doing wrong. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. What will happen to the next, the next ten years to come? When the young people show me their yes now, what will happen when the mothers supposed to be home teaching the children the way of the Lord? They are the street smoking drum. They in the back drinking. They in some man house and his son or some woman house. They call, they say she's a lesbian, he's a lesbian. I a man and that is my husband. You call a woman your husband. Amen. Amen. How are you? Jesus. God wants you to come out. Come out of it. Turn your back from your sin. Love thy neighbors as yourself. That you can tell them that angel, you is a lesbian, you have to come out. Otherwise, God, fire will burn you to death in hell. Hell fire will stop burning. Stop 
two things we keep talking about. We go have a hell, we have a hell, and we have a heaven. And we have a God that running this whole world. He has a God that creates you in His own image and likeness. He makes, He takes a little bit of dirt and He comes with eyes, with nose, with belly, with bottom, everything. There is a God running this world. He creates you and me. He's the everlasting Father. He's the everlasting Father. He's the Prince of Peace. And He will draw a line and put His people on one side and He will push those who don't want to in the pit lane of hell fire. Are you willing to go in the pit lane of fire? Teach your children the way of God that hell is real. Teach your children the way of the Lord that when they get older they will come up with homosexual and lesbian. That is what is plaguing the earth right now. That is what causes God to run. Oh my son, he's a homosexual, so I don't want to talk about it. So you will go in hell with your son in hell and burn with hellfire. If you don't want to tell your sons and daughters that they should come out of their sin. Now they put up genders in school. Your sons and daughters, your son go to school as a, a wonderful man, young man, and when he comes up, he speaks and says, no, your, your, your name is not Jason again, your name is Michelle. I have my grandchildren and if they are going to school and a teacher tell my grandson that his name is Michelle, I am a teacher, teacher to a father. <laughs> I will teach us and I will put the blood of Jesus and send that demon out of us. <laughs> you see, all these things start in the head. The person, all of that stuff up there, if they were not involved in those things, they would not bring it to the table before a righteous God. God is asking America to come back home. God is telling America, you have one more chance of repentance. One more chance America has of repentance. Are you coming back home? Today is the day of salvation. Are you saying yes to Him? Are you knocking in there and locking in Jesus in you? Because you is a living soul. You is not a body. Because the body will die one day. That body that is cherishing and feeding it with everything beside the Bible, that body will die one day. God is calling you today. There is room at the cross for you. Yeah. Somebody wants Jesus. Say your heart in your soul. Confess him that he is Lord over all the Lord. There is room at the want to come back home. Don't go to it. Don't go to it. Just come. Come to Jesus. Tonight might be the last night that you ever see this earth. Tonight might be the last night that you ever see life on this earth. Don't need